Hello and welcome to NewsClick. We are here to discuss a burning issue today. There have been a series of attacks on the minorities in Bangladesh over the last week or so. The attacks coincided with the Hindu festival of Durga Puja. And today we have an important guest with us to discuss the issue. We have Mr. Rashid Khan Menon, who is the president of the Workers' Party of Bangladesh. Uh, welcome to the show, uh, Mr. Menon. Thank you. Uh, one of the most important things that we wanted to discuss today is why are these attacks happening right now? What is the trigger? Well, the trigger is that uh, there was a complaint that uh, the Quran, the holy book of the Muslims, which is revered by the Muslims very much, uh, was uh, on at the feet of the uh, one of the idol, uh, Ganesh, uh, uh, in in in. Nanua Dikhi Par Puja Mandap in, in Kubilla. Uh, there was a complaint, and uh, uh, so uh, somebody from there telephoned the police, and the police came, and the OC uh, took the Quran from the idol, uh, and somebody made a, a video of, of the whole incident uh, that uh, uh, the Hindus are doing this thing or something like that. Uh, and it, it, it was the start of the whole situation. Uh, it seems from the reports we learned that the person uh, who has been arrested for this uh, particular act uh, uh, actually was not, uh, uh, you know, part of the Hindu community. Uh, okay. The police has said uh, today a video has been shown to the uh, journalist and uh, it has been uh, already circulated in the television media. That one, some Iqbal Hussain, his name has said that the police, he is a Muslim uh, who lives nearby. He did this, uh, he took this Quran and put it on the, at the feet of the idol uh, and uh, took away the Goda of the Ganesh uh, along with him. Uh, and uh, uh, the video said like that. We said it from the very beginning that a <coughs> Hindu or a man of the Hindu community cannot uh, put these things like this because of the fact that they are having their own celebration. Why should they uh, mark their own and put it in danger? They know it that even something is said in their Facebook or that they they always uh, that accept the expense of agitation expense. So why should they do it? And also a Muslim also who is a real Muslim, he can't just do it because of the fact that uh, uh, it, it is a holy thing for the Muslims. So from the beginning, we told that it is a it is a conspiracy to start a communal uh, agitations and communal things in the country, and it happened like that. How, uh, how, to what extent do you feel that the democratic process in Bangladesh uh, would be threatened by incidents like this? This is not a sudden incident. The anger has been building up over a few years. Uh, uh, secularism has been in a part of our constitution. Our father of the nation, Mohammed Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, when he just came back uh, from his Pakistani prison, he told the people of Bangladesh, very openly and very strongly that Bangladesh should be a secular country. And the constitution also embodied this uh, uh, secularism as part of the one of the four principles of Bangladesh as democracy, secularism, nationalism, and socialism. So the uh, secularism was part of our constitution and part of our life. But Unfortunately for us, I, I just it, it, it will be a bit long, but I, I just want to tell you the background is that uh, the anti-liberation forces did not want to uh, did not want to agree to this uh, position, and they started agitating that uh, it is it is uh, anti-religious. But uh, on what happened at that time in 1972. Uh, the anti-liberation forces tried to mar the Durga Utsav again in Chirong and in Maman Singh, but they failed. So that was the end of the whole thing. But after 1975, after the assassination of the father of the nation uh, and his family, 
uh, when Jiaoraman took over uh, uh, as a military ruler, he introduced uh, he, he introduced Bismillah Rahman Rahim in our constitution uh, in the uh, uh, in the introductory part of the constitution, and also done away with the principle of uh, secularism from the constitution, and that's how it started. And he started to uh, uh, the Jamaati Islami people who were who were directly involved with the Pakistani army. He brought back uh, uh, Professor Ghulam Azam, who is the head of the, the Jamaat Islami, with the Pakistani passport in the name of uh, seeing his ailing mother. And after that, he remained in the country. Uh, 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 he remained in the country and, was, and never went back. And how this thing started and the communal propaganda started going on. Also, so the steps by the Indian Indians uh, or the Indian authority also uh, uh, gave a clue to the communal forces to raise the communal issue. As uh, in in the name of anti-Indian propaganda, they started the anti uh, non uh, anti communal uh, or communal propagandas uh, in the country, like the Farakka barrage, like the uh, uh, the the the, uh, the investment of the Marwaris in Bangladesh. Like the low quality of the relief material, so something like that. All the anti uh, and Indian steps were turned into a, a, a as a communal steps by the Indians or something like that. So anti-Indian propaganda has become became the main force of the ruling party, a uh, ruling group at that time. And those anti-Indian propaganda was nothing other than communalism. And then after uh, the assassination of Zia Roman, General Ishaq, another military ruler, he just uh, took over power. And when the, a big struggle was going on for the country against his rule for about nine years, he all of a sudden in 1988, he introduced uh, one provision in the constitution saying that the Islam would be the state religion of Bangladesh. So at that time, all the political parties, both Awamali and BNP, who are then uh, in all the opposition and all the left of the parties, even all the civil societies, they opposed it. And there was a general strike in the country. But even then, as he had the hand-picked parliament in his uh, favor, so he uh, got the constitution amended and the, it remained. So after a long struggle, uh, after that, become the power in 1992 after the overthrow of General Ashad. I want to give you the history because you would understand that. General Ashad, Begum Zia took the help of Jamaat Islami, who was the anti liberation forces, Jamaat Islami to be, to be in, in the government. And uh, also they started, they gave the uh, citizenship, which was taken away from Professor Ghulam Azam, the leader of the Jamaat Islami, gave back the uh, citizenship. And Jamaat Islami was uh, again rehabilitated in the country on the, and there was a absolute pouring of the uh, uh, the petrodollars in the country. So it spread throughout the country, uh, and, and they were rehabilitated, and they started uh, raising many issues, including our national song, our national flag, and the constitution also. And it continued like this, and went to after two thousand one. Jamal Islam, the BNP did not only get the support of Jamal Islam, it now took them along with them to the power. Two of the Jamaat, leading Jamaat people, Bolana uh, Nizami and uh, Muzahidi, they were they became ministers. They flew the national flag and uh, and uh, after 2001 election, there was a serious communal violence in Bangladesh. So I would say that it is a communal violence. It was a attack against the minorities uh, 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 throughout the country. And uh, the Hindus even uh, boycotted, uh, they started, uh, uh, boycotted the Durga Puja and started Ghat Puja. You understand, I don't know if you understand Ghat Puja or not. Yes. Uh, as, a, as a mark of protest, as a mark of protest. So there was a big cry, hue and cry, and there was a big struggle against uh, BNP Jamaat rule. After the 2008 election, 
in where we got uh, in, in alliance with the Awali, we promised that the country would be run on the basis of non-communal and democratic principles. And uh, following that, in the uh, uh, 15th Amendment of the Constitution, which was made in 2013, uh, 2011, sorry, 2011, the uh, secularism was brought back to the Constitution. And also other provisions, uh, like that the, the any religion should not be given preference to other religion, and the government would definitely, uh, the, the state would have to interfere in, uh, in any matter which is against any religion. But unfortunately, our Malik uh, could not, uh, did not uh, want to uh, replace uh, Islam as a state religion because they thought that it would anger the people, it would be it would be opposed by the people, general people, because by this time, the communal division and the communal uh, situation in Bangladesh uh, uh, was, was, was a big issue because at the same time, beside Bangladesh, there was Islamic revivalism throughout the world, particularly in the Middle East, which had its impact in Bangladesh. And also in that year, you know, uh, the Mujahideens in Afghanistan, uh, they won the uh, they, they, they took the power in Afghanistan and many of the Bang Bangladeshi Muslim community people, they went to Afghanistan as Muzai. They came back and they started uh, an underground on, uh, outfit organizations, uh, jihadi organizations like uh, Harkatul Jihad or something like that. They wanted to kill Sheikh Hasina also. Also during the period of uh, BNP and Jamaat, uh, there was an attack on uh, Aubilis, uh, mass uh, uh, public meeting where all the leaders of Aubilly, including Sheikh Hasan, was there and about grenades were thrown in that. Uh, and now it has been found that it is not only the uh, the, the, the Islamic militants, Harkat uh, jihad but also the BNP, the, the top leaders of BNP, like uh, the son of Khalid Zia, and others were involved. So, so this has uh, created a, this is the background of the whole thing. And, and uh, after that, uh, after 2008, when the secularism was brought back to the constitution, though uh, uh, state religion Islam could not be replaced, but one very big thing happened is that the trial of the collaborators and about uh, eight of them were, uh, uh, sentenced to death and two of those ministers, as, this, as I mentioned, Nizami and Muzahidi uh, were, were hanged uh, after that, uh, uh, the verdict of the tribunal. So at that period, Jamaat Islami also tried to destabilize the government with the BNP. BNP also tried to destabilize the government and there was a big uh, move by them. It was about from 13 to 2013 to 2014, Bangladesh was absolutely at a standstill. They started uh, looting, arson, killing, uh, felling the uh, trees on the road, uh, overstretching the whole movement of the vehicles and something like that. But we overcame that. We overcame that. And and, and 2014 election took place. And our league and the alliance again came, to, came back to uh, power. And it so, so if if I can just but, bring but, you, but by this time, by this time, the communal division in the country and the communalism in the country has spread so much that uh, unfortunately, uh, our younger generation uh, are already uh, are, 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 are not in that way. You get around the uh, non-communal principles also. That's so how we we also. We also find that the present government acts in rather contradictory ways. On the one hand, you're writing textbooks, uh, changing yes, history. That's right. That's right. They, they, they compromise with Hepatitis Islam on the uh, question. We oppose it. You, you know, when the uh, amendment was passed in the parliament, it is Barkas Party and the Jatiya Swasin Dal. We oppose that and we put our note of dissent in that uh, uh, during the voting. Uh, but we could not. Uh, uh, do anything about it. And also during this Hebrides uh, Islam also, it is an outfit of the Kaumi Madrasas. 
uh, based on the common madrasas, and they have a very big thing. Now the madrasa education uh, has spread like anything in the Bangladesh. The general, uh, it, it is now going to surpass the general education uh, event. And unfortunately, all the governments, uh, if you call it our village government, if you call it uh, BNP government, all the governments, they they prefer to say that uh, they are they are they are patronizing the madrasa education, and this Kami madrasa has become the uh, bed of uh, communism in Bangladesh, and it is the Hibajit Islam and Bangladesh government and our village has compromised with that. Now, one of the things that uh, we are very curious about is how does the Indian policy making and it, the decisions which India take influence Bangladesh, especially the anti-migrant, uh, immigrant rhetoric, the CAA. Well, uh, yes, uh, I, I, I just want to tell you one very important thing that unfortunately, though I should not say it because it is the internal affair of, uh, uh, of India, but it has impact in Bangladesh in the sense that the uh, the BJP leadership, including Amit Shah, who is the uh, home uh, home minister of India, during the election campaign, both in the Lok Sabha and also in the Rajya Sabhas, they just blasted Bangladesh like anything. They they wanted to say that the it is the Bangladeshis who can come, come to Bangladesh as uh, as migrants. Uh, and there are Bangladeshis in, in India. They have gone there as an uh, economic migrant, which Bangladesh always denies and which Bangladesh does not agree. But it is the uh, the, the blasting of the BJPs. It hurts very much the Bangladeshi sentiment. Second, the CAE, CAA, or do you call it constitutional? Uh, what is CAA, that's CAA. right. A CAA. It has also created a sort of uh, feeling in Bangladesh that uh, now the uh, minorities of countries like uh, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Afghanistan are being wooed and are being said that they will be given citizenship. Uh, uh, and uh, so it, it says that it creates an, it, it creates an uh, Unfortunate uh, situation in Bangladesh in the sense that the, both the minorities and the majorities has become really very really uncertain about the future because uh, that means that uh, uh, the the CAA would, would would rather harm the minorities in Bangladesh in the way that uh, Bangladeshi communal forces would always take advantage of the CAA. Number one. Number two is the NRC. Is NRC or in, in, in That's the NRC. right, the National Register of Citizenship. The NRC yes. in, in, in Assam and in, in, in uh, West Bengal and also all over India has also created an impact. And also the Kashmir question, though Bangladesh is, has a position that it is a part of India, but when the things happened in, 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 in Kashmir, you know, here are forces, very much strong forces in Bangladesh. Because during Pakistan time, Kashmir was always an issue uh, for Pakistan to divert the democratic movement uh, in, in Bangladesh. So it, it is embedded in Bangladesh's mind. So people feel that, that the Muslims in Kashmir has been really under, uh, under threat by, by the uh, ruling uh, uh, Indian government, and also the incidents of communal uh, happenings in many places, like this in Delhi and other places, it has also impacted. You mean that these incidents become a reason or an excuse for the radical elements? Yes, for, the, for the communal forces, yes. All for the yes. The the inc I remember when I was a student leader in uh, in 1964, I was the Vice President of Hagen was the student senior at that time. The Hazrat Bal incident took place in Kashmir, you remember that. And that created a riot in, uh, right. in Calcutta. And in that, uh, uh, against that, the riot took place in, uh, in, in, in Khulna. Uh, and it was a state sponsored riot uh, in, in, in Bangladesh and also in Dhaka, also. So any incident in, in India. Uh, whether though it is it's less now because it is Bangladesh, 
but still it has a serious impact. And now the as the communal forces has increased their influence in Bangladesh. So it has become the issues are there in the YouTube, in the Facebook, there are propagandas against these things. If, if you go through the YouTube of Bangladesh, uh, the Islamic forces, they are always big propaganda against these things. Do you think these uh, radical elements, these Islamist propaganda is uh, going to play a more important role in the politics of your country in the coming months? Or will the government be able to find some way to uh, manage this crisis? Well, I don't think it is only a political uh, issue. It is also a social issue because, you know, the there is a social division has taken place. I, a, a communal mentality has grown up among the young people and other things. So this is to be fought not only politically, but also socially also. So it needs a absolute political mobilization and social mobilization that it needs. But unfortunately, the government has taken a very stand, uh, stand against the communal minister in Kumilla and also in other places, though they have taken very strong uh, action. And also that the Sheikh Hasina, the prime minister, uh, is very vocal about it and uh, gave a very strong statement and also directed the Home Minister and the other ministers and his party people to go and uh, go to the people and say like this. But uh, this is, uh, but it, it, it is going to continue for some time. It is a very really difficult one. And unfortunately, if the compromising attitude of the government goes on like this, the, it will be taken after the fall of Kabul, the Taliban, the communal forces has got very much encouragement from that. And there are many okay. underground outfits are working. The Islamic Jihadist outfits are here, called the ISI, not ISI sponsors, I would say, ISI uh, uh, encouraged uh, outfits are working, about 19 of them are working. The government has taken a very stand against the zero tolerance of the Islamic militants, but they could not weed out the Islamic militants of Bangladesh. So after the Afghanistan issue, Af Afghanistan Taliban's victory, they have become encouraged about it. And it would continue for some time. Um, you know, often we find uh, in India, in Pakistan, in Bangladesh, uh, these kind of, especially in India, we've seen recently that when there is a communal incident, uh, many people call it a way to distract from other issues. Uh, we saw last year in Bangladesh as well, there was a very difficult uh, reopening of the textile industry. People had to walk back to, uh, you know, the deadline was advanced by a few days. Uh, then we saw uh, workers protesting, uh, uh, the teachers protesting. Uh, we see a lot of protests, but then we, the communal issues make the headlines. Is, is this a distraction, taking our attention away from something? It is a distraction, no doubt about it. But uh, fortunately for us now, it has not been encouraged by the common other forces. But uh, the communal forces will always take advantage of the situation. The distraction is made. Now it is being said that uh, they want to destabilize the government because the uh, new uh, election will be in 2023 and, and also in 24. So on the part of the uh, ruling party, they want to say that, that uh, the issue of ele election is there. And uh, so they want to create a situation that the minorities uh, get a scared and don't go for voting or something like that. And also other economic issues are there also. But in India, I understand that uh, now in India, the peasant movement are uh, going on in a very big way. Other movements are going on. This is definitely yes. a destruction. They don't do that. This is, it will be a destruction uh, 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 the, uh, from the from the issues in Bangladesh. Also, uh, the whole issue of other other issues like the government's workers, like the youth workers, are being subsided by this uh, incident. Uh, if, if I remember correctly, uh, your party had also said that uh, we should return to the 1972 constitution. Yes. We also said, always, we always said, not only said, I, I told you that. Uh, 
how would it help uh, that's what i'm wondering what is the problem that it would solve the uh, you know the 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 very existence of uh, a religion state islam as a state religion and secularism it is contradictory it is contradictory. everybody is taking uh, advantage of that now not only the islamists but also even the ruling party people the ex mayor of dhaka has said yesterday that it is impossible to uh, to replace islam, islam as a state religion and and so so everybody is now taking advantage of that so it is very important that the constitution should be amended but by before that also the total people's mobilization the social mobilization the cultural mobilization is needed uh, for for to make the ground for those amendments all right uh, thank you very much for uh, joining us uh, mr rashid kanwanan thank you for watching news click um thank you for joining our show and please keep watching us on uh, youtube on facebook and on instagram